Hi there, this is Glenn Hamburg. This video is to help you navigate through the photo site at photos.glennhamburg.com. From any browser, just go up into the URL page, type photos.glennhamburg.com. Note that Glenn has two N's and there's no www. That will take you to the photo site. Now I've enlarged the uh, screen a little bit uh, so that you can actually see it on the training video because everything gets so small it's hard to see so when you actually go in the browser it won't be quite this large. Anyway it will open up and there will be a slideshow that starts automatically but what you can do is click all my photos and you'll see a number of different galleries. Uh, the primary ones that you'll be interested in are going to uh, Varsity Lacrosse, JV Lacrosse, or possibly Hawks Lacrosse. Some of these other sites are just galleries of special things, so um, creating galleries that have just really good action shots, uh, things that probably caught on camera that the refs didn't see usually. Call that, is that legal? And then uh, getting to put some faces and hits good hits. So it'll just be a fun way to collect all the information. So now let's say you want to look at the photos in, a, in the JV Lacrosse. What you can then do is, um, let's say we pick this gallery, which is CHS uh, JV versus Grandview. That will then present to you a number of thumbnail pictures. You can see that there are uh, five screens you can hit show all and just quickly I can scroll through and see every single picture that's there. Now I'm not a big fan of looking at pictures of thumbnails but at least gives you an idea of what's there. So let's say you just want to start seeing the larger pictures. Uh, clicking on that will then bring up the picture with the thumbnails over here. Again you can now get a bigger view. You may decide you want to see a picture here. Let's just say this handsome man Right here, you want to add to a collection. You can add them to a uh, set up to a collection as long as you're logged in. You could add it to your favorites, uh, which will track those favorites for you. And you can log in, and uh, the next time you come in, those favorites will still be there. Um, some other features: this dim the lights basically creates a larger view and closes out the rest of the screen. So you can see a bigger view if you, of, if you want. And then you'll see on the left, you can click left or over here on the right to move things back and forth. Um, at the top right is an X. Just close that out and you go back to this view. The other thing you might want to do is run a slideshow. So you can click on slideshow and it will start a full screen slideshow for you. Again, the way you would, uh, if you just move your, your mouse a little bit, you'll see at the top and bottom, um, you'll see a thumbnail at the bottom, and you can scroll through that way. You could pause, fast forward, or up at the top, you could select various options um, of this slideshow, like you could change the speed to normal. You can sh uh, have it show transitions or not show the camera shot information if that's interesting to you. Um, and then again, to cancel out of this thing, you just click the X up here, and you're back to there. Let's try to find, uh, maybe we decide we found a really cool action shot that we would like to purchase. So we've seen this here. And now we can do two things. You can come right up to this icon that says Add to Cart, or you can come inside the picture and do the same thing. Both will get you to the same place. It will open up uh, an option for you, so you can, you can um, order uh, any size prints that you see here. Let's say that you really, you're just really happy with this and you want to get an 8x10. Just select that. You can change the number that you want, move it up or down. Let's say you just want one. Uh, there's the, the price for one standard print. And 
uh, you should you can add and go to your cart or add and continue shopping if you want to add more pictures so let's just say we're done we'll go to the cart and you'll see a summary of the pictures that you want in this case the picture that's on the web is probably a little bit larger format than the standard 8x10 so in this case you could do your own cropping first so click on cropping and it will bring up this larger window it's just very easy to move the screen around um, to get it just where you want it uh, it really just depends on whether you want this person over there or this person here I think general movement says we're going to move it here so now we've selected the cropping area click apply and now your final version will be what's in that crop you can select different paper types if you want the standards will probably be fine for you but you can do things if you you know change things around if you want um, if you have a PayPal account then it's very easy just to click PayPal at this point in time and it will set you up to log into PayPal you're probably familiar with that if you already have a PayPal account if you don't just click on proceed to checkout and you will you need to sign in sorry I, don't, I, have, I wasn't logged in as a user at this point in time but if you're logged if you're set up within the website you can do that otherwise you'll just have to you know log in to do that but um, it's quite easy to do and you and picks will produce your whatever your order is and they'll package it extremely nicely um, when I ordered from the Mpix, they actually shipped it flat versus in a rolled tube I thought that was very classy they also shipped uh, extremely fast and and extremely inexpensively so I highly recommend them and I think you'll be happy with the quality I hope that helps you understand how to navigate through the site how to order how to watch slideshows etc it's actually quite a nifty site I hope you like it and we'll talk to you soon